Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing COVID-19 yet again, or coronavirus. We're specifically discussing it in the context of visa runs. Now, I make a distinction between border runs and visa runs. For this video, we're going to kind of conflate the two. But generally speaking, when I say visa run, I mean a run to a Thai embassy or consulate outside of Thailand to get a new actual visa in order to run back into Thailand and take up one's lawful status that that visa provides. This is somewhat different from a border run. A border run generally is when one runs across the border just to be stamped out, then stamped back in. You see that often in the context, for example, of a one-year non-immigrant multiple entry B visa or a one-year non-immigrant multiple entry O visa, usually based on marriage. And it's where people, they either have those kinds of visas or perhaps they're on a 30-day stamp or a multiple entry tourist visa. And they're simply running across the border, going out and being stamped back in in order to maintain lawful status here in the kingdom. And the point of this video is to provide some updated information on where I think things stand currently with respect to the ability to even do this. So let me start with this. As far as a visa run goes, I think in Southeast Asia, it's, it's effectively going to be, I hesitate to say impossible, but I think that's the correct term. I think it's gonna be pretty much effectively impossible for at least the next two weeks, maybe a little bit longer, to actually get a new visa issued at a Thai embassy and then get back into Thailand. And, and by, by that I mean, getting it done rather quickly. People are used to being able to do this in, the matter, in a matter of four to five working days. You know, you get on a plane, you, go, you run to the place you're gonna get your visa. For example, Cambodia. We'll use Cambodia as an example. But Laos works just as well. So they get on, they get on a plane, they go over to Cambodia, they go to the Thai embassy in Phnom Penh, they apply for a visa there, they wait a day or two, get the visa back, get back on a plane, come back to Thailand. Well. There's a lot of roadblocks in that path now that did not exist even a week ago. So one of the big ones is there are now medical insurance and medical certificate requirements for those who are looking to maintain a visa or get into Thailand in visa status. So it appears that these are gonna be required from both the embassy as well as the air carrier, as well as Thai immigration at the port of entry when arriving in Thailand. So all three of those things. The other thing that's becoming more of an issue, and we're gonna do specific videos on these topics as well, but it appears, and I'm gonna quote directly from a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, More Border Closures in Fight Against Virus. Quoting directly, the Interior Ministry has ordered most border provinces to leave only one international checkpoint open as the country tries to block arrivals to contain the coronavirus outbreak that has caused a sharp jump in cases this week. Quoting further, General Anupong has given the governors full authority to seal off their provinces by shutting all checkpoints if they consider the COVID-19 situation has worsened in their area. And just one more quote specific to Cambodia that I thought was sort of pertinent. Quoting directly, only the Oranya Pratet checkpoint will remain open to connect the country, that being Thailand, with Cambodia. So, as a practical matter, the visa run and the border run have become all but impossible. I would say it's theoretically possible. It appears that there's you know single border crossings remaining open and it looks like local nationals, so Thais or Khmer along the Cambodian border, Thais or Laos along the Lao border, and perhaps Thais and Burmese along the, or, or Thais and Myanmar citizens along the Myanmar border, presumably Thais and Malaysians maybe along the Malaysian border, are being able to get through in any case. And I think even that has been radically curtailed compared to even, again, a week ago. So the thing to take away from this video, yeah, Border runs, visa runs, not really gonna be possible. We've done other videos on this channel discussing overstays specifically. It appears that some sort of amnesty is in the works for the roughly 500,000 I read in one article. People who are overstaying in Thailand or may go into overstay while this 
coronavirus issue is upon us, while we're dealing with this, either during a shutdown phase or while the immigration borders are effectively sealed. So for the time being, it looks like hunkering down is probably the best bet. And especially for at least the immediately foreseeable future, I do not think border runs or visa runs are going to be a viable option.